My name is Dawn Simus. Um, I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, I'm a student, I'm an employer, I'm a t homeowner, I'm a taxpayer. Um, I'm also he I'm here as a formerly incarcerated person and as the president of the formerly incarcerated persons union. I was incarcerated from 2007 to 2013. Um, I am not eligible to have my record expunged until 2032. I will be about 54 years old at that time. Um, while I was incarcerated, I took full advantage of every single opportunity provided to me to further my ed occupational and educational worth. I earned my associate's degree from uh, Community College of Rhode Island and graduated with highest honors. Um, I was fortunate enough to have a job when I was released from prison which many people do not have. Um, I quickly realized, though, that I was being exploited by my employer. Um, he knew that I would have difficulties finding work elsewhere. He paid me much less than I was worth. He paid me under the table, and he took advantage of my situation at every opportunity he could. Um, I found another job, but again, it, I knew I was capable of more than what I was doing. Um, I decided that I had to go back to school if I was going to do anything with my life at this point. Um, I went to the advisor back at CCRI, and what I was told, um, because I wanted to go into nursing, um, I was told that um, you'll have to ask special permission from the dean. If you get that permission, you can take the classes. But once it's time to do clinicals, you're not going to be covered under our liability insurance. So you might not be able to do your clinicals. If you get to do your clinicals, You'll have to speak with the state licensing board. They'll have the final decision whether or not you can be granted a license. If you get the license, then you'll have to explain your past to every potential employer because they're going to do a background check as well. There was a chance that I could jump through all these hoops and still not find a job. And that's the case for every job in the healthcare field, not just nursing. I mean, you're talking x-ray technician, you're talking massage therapist. Everything in the, in, the, in the healthcare field is covered under that umbrella as far as Community College of Rhode Island is concerned. So I began studying community planning and development and quickly learned that the doors were going to be slammed in my face there as well. I was hired by a prominent community-based um, organization to do community outreach just a couple hours a week, only to have that offer rescinded as well when the organization told me the board of directors decided that it may not look good to have a convicted felon sitting on in there. Um, in a prominent position like this. So I furthered down the road, and I was fortunate enough to meet some people who saw me as more than a felon. These people saw me and put me in touch with a local company that was willing to give me a chance, and I've been a valued member of that team since October of 2015. I've been promoted three times, and last January I was chosen as a team as part of a team of nine to go on a company-sponsored mission trip to El Salvador and build a well. While I was there in El Salvador, I realized that I was standing where I was, not despite my past, but because of my past. While Ban the Box was a step in the right direction, employers will still pass me over due to my background. A BCI and qu quick internet searches will <coughs> quickly bring up all my info. We need less barriers to meaningful employment, not more. The idea that my past mistakes, which I have paid for, is continuing to hold me back is completely absurd, and navigating the real world for someone who gets out of prison is a struggle enough. And I'm somebody who had support. Many people do not. Um, I often ask people, when I tell them my story, to think about the dumbest thing you ever did, the worst decision you ever made, your biggest mistake. It could be something that nobody even knows about, just you. And then I want you to think, how would your life be different if every single person judged you on that mistake? And that's what people who are incarcerated go through when trying to find meaningful employment. That's all I have to say, and I welcome any questions.